This is the family house of the newly appointed Chief of Army Staff, Major General Tarid Lagraja, who hails from Ilobu in Irekwondu local government area of Oshun State. President Bola Tinubu appointed Major General Tarid Lagraja as the Chief of Army Staff to replace Lieutenant General Farouk Yahya, who was appointed by former President Muhammad Buhari in 2021. Major General Tarid Lagraja was born in Ilobu, Irekwondu local government area of Oshun State on the 28th of February 1968. He attended local authority teachers college demonstration school Oshudu between 1973 to 1979. He proceeded to St. Charles Grammar School Oshudu from 1979 to 1984. Major General Lagbeja also attended the Polytechnic Ibadan from 1984 to 1986 and obtained West African School Certificate level. He was later admitted into the Nigerian Defense Academy on the 12th of September 1987 as a member of the 39th Regular Corps and was commissioned as a second lieutenant on the 19th of September 1992 into the Nigerian Army Infantry Corps. He obtained a Bachelor of Science degree in Geography from the Nigerian Defense Academy in 2001 and had his Master's degree in Strategic Studies from the U.S. Army War College in 2014. In 2014, he held many positions within the military and won many honors and awards nationally and internationally, including Forces Service Star, Meritorious Service Star, Distinguished Service Star, Past Staff Corps, Fellow United States Army War College, Field Command Medal, United Nations Peacekeeping Operation Medal, Operation Lafayette Jolie Medal, among others. West BC News was in Ilobo, the hometown of the new military chief, where the monarch, the Olobo of Ilobo, Oba Ashiru Olatoye, Olania II, expressed appreciation to President Bola Tinubu for appointing an illustrious son of the town to such an exalted position. <laughs> Gaban Tinobu Tony Omawana. Similarly, a one time commissioner for information in Ocean State, Evangelist Remy Wilson, who could not hide her joy, stated that Major General Lagbaja is a man of exemplary character who will deliver on the mandate given to him. He's humble, hardworking, that the father himself is a very hardworking person. Those that are lifting most of the other continents happen to be from Nigeria. Then if we have some of them staying back at home, I'm sure they will do wonders. We should rather be positive about the way we view them. We should see them as people being lifted by God. We should pray for them. I'm sure that all of them will perform well. Speaking in the same vein, the national president of Ilobu Ashake Progressive Union, Pastor Olufemi Salako, who spoke in a telephone interview with SBC News, noted that his appointment will further motivate the youth of the town to believe in hard work and be diligent in their duties. Uh, he's uh, like a poster child for us, a good example, even to you to encourage the young ones. I mean, if you do well, if you prove yourself in your career, you will definitely be elevated, you will definitely be recognized. So. It's, it's a good success story for us to encourage the young ones. And also, I mean, for the community, we look forward to, I mean, having our own son in the state of things. In the of things. So uh, you can't, like I said, you can't quantify how joyous we are, how grateful we are to God and to him that he did us proud. If he has messed up in his career, they will remember in the world. So. Mr. Muftar Labraja, the younger brother of the newly appointed chief of army staff, said the entire family were thrown into a joyous mood since the news of the appointment went viral. It's my brother, my senior brother. It's good. I know he perform. The respondents prayed God to grant the new military chief, Major Reed Labraja, grace to succeed in his new position. Aluchi Amuda. OSPC News.